Cerebral palsy affects people in different ways because different parts of the brain can be injured. However, it always has some impact on the person's movements, and this is because the messages coming from the brain to the muscles are affected. Where the whole body is affected, that is, both arms and legs and the trunk, this is called quadriplegia. Where both legs are mainly affected, this is called diplegia. People with diplegia often also have difficulties with fine movements of their hands. When one side of the body is affected, for example the left arm and the left leg, this is called hemiplegia. Spasticity is probably the most commonly known term. Spasticity is present in about 86% of people with cerebral palsy. It results in muscles that become stiff and tight, which can make it difficult for someone with spasticity to use their muscles easily. Around 6% of people with cerebral palsy have dyskinesia, with dystonia more common than apoptosis. One of the less common forms of cerebral palsy is ataxia. Ataxia means without order or incoordination, 